Hey guys, Storm BJ. Uh, what did I do today? I got my first top eight at a regional, and it's a sixth place to tell my deck profile. Uh, I'll go through my rounds. I'll also post it in the description below, but uh, my first round was Fire Fist, and I got scraped by, by this Fire Fist player. I went 0-2 against him. Uh, next round I played Madolches and I 2 0 2 0 that I'm not yeah, he's not even bad. Anyways, Madolches round two and I uh, 2 0 uh, Round three was the Tellers. I lost game one, but I found a way to come back and uh, 2 0 the next two games and one against that. Uh, fourth round was just Engines. I 2 0 him. And then round five, six, seven, and eight, uh, I lost the first games at all of them. Uh, five, six, and eight were Stella Knights. And seven was Cliffords. I lost the first game in all of them, and I come back. Like I said, I find some way to come back and two all the next, the second and third games uh, to get sixth place with uh, Stellar Knights. All right, so um, I'm gonna get right into the deck profile, I guess. Um, three, the Nevs you have two is to search here the deck. Uh, three Altairs, um, Wolf Park. It's a uh, it's the best top deck you can ever have. This or Rota. Uh, I opted to go to three uh, Unakahai because uh, while people are playing two, two and two with two Unakahai and two Vega, um, I like this card because Denko hurts this deck a lot because you play. I, well, me personally, I play 22 trap cards, um, and I need a card to get over Denko. That's not uh, Deneb or crashing with Altair, and. Um, after the first Unikaha, it's it's pretty much an 18 beater. Um, I like it at three though, um, and then two Vega. People play one, one and three, or two and two, and I like I just like 11 monsters. It it opens up a bunch of plays, and that's that. Uh, that's all the monsters. Like I said, that's 11 monsters. Um, for the spells, I play three reinforcements of the army. Uh, out of two. Raigeki, Book of Moon, and I opted to keep the uh, Mystical Space Life Moons in. Um, come, going into this regional, I expected to see a lot of Stella Knights and Shadals, and I needed uh, I needed the, the back row hate with uh, Mystical Space Life Moon. Uh, a lot of my friends told me to take it out because I don't want to lose game one of Necros, but I wasn't really afraid of Necros. First of all, I didn't even play one Necros today. Which I, I I believe is true luck, but um, I wasn't really afraid of Necros because my main deck was uh, uh, designed to kind of win the first game with Necros, and then my side deck would just take over from there. But like I said, I kept the Mystical Space Stuff in because I needed I need to clear some back row, especially in the mirror match. Um, for the trap cards, uh, three Alpha, three Call, and one Oasis. <laughs> Three Fiendish Chains. Uh, three Mind Crushes is the best card against Necros. Uh, they're gonna activate. They're gonna activate Kaleidoscope, and 95% of the time you're gonna call Unicorn. And what's really cool about this is that if they have uh, a Brio in hand, they ha and they uh, decide not to summon it, they have to reveal their extra deck to prove that they don't have a level six uh, to to summon the Brio. Otherwise, they have to. Uh, Mirror Force. Uh, I don't really like battle traps, but Clifford's and uh, which I didn't expect to see a lot of, anyways. And Necros, you have to you have to stop their established boards. Uh, probably the MVP of the main deck would be Chapter Chapel Nightmare. It's really strong in the mirror match. It's really strong in the uh, Necros matchup. They're gonna activate Trish to banish your Denevs and Altairs. Um, Brio to bounce everything that you have. It's I don't know. I like it a lot. Two. I wanted to run it at three, but I'm just gonna find the space for it. It's irrelevant. Yeah. Uh, one ring of destruction. This is my one of us. One ring. Uh, vanities. Bottomless. Torrential and warning. That's 22 traps. It's a 40 card main deck. Uh, for the, the extra deck. One diamond. Uh, two Travers and Adulteros. Sukiyomi. Omega because traps are back. It's the it's the mirror match. Uh, Cowboy for game. Uh, Castell. Emerald, Kanagor again, Exiton, uh, Ragna Zero. I, I'm actually glad I decided to put this back in because it was really strong against the Fire Fist matchup, even though I lost. But it was really strong against that and really strong against the Clifford matchup. Uh, Rhapsody and Berserk, Dweller, and obviously uh, for anyone playing Stellar Knights or anything, uh, this is going to be the MVP of anybody's deck. And that's uh, Hero Champion 
Rongo Miniad or whatever you want to pronounce it. Um, it's, it requires two or more level f uh, four warrior monsters. Uh, the best part about it is it doesn't detach until your opponent's end phase. And uh, if, it ha uh, if it has five, you can destroy every card your opponent controls, which is just busted. Uh, four or more, your opponent can't normal or special summon monsters at all. Uh, three, it, it's unaffected by card effects. Two or more, it gains 1500 attack and defense, so it becomes a 3000 beater. And then if it has one, it can't be destroyed by battle. If you have all five materials, it's game because your opponent can't do anything to this. Uh, I played it with all five materials uh, last round to, to win, I guess. Uh, uh, side deck, uh, two flying C. This is just for Burning Abyss, but uh, uh, I sided in against uh, Satellars. It was a last minute call, and it worked. Uh, one Alshum for game, for, uh, game three, into time also. Dark Hole for Rog. The, Third space and two twisters for the mirror match. Sandra's Cliff Worts, all that. Two anti spell fragrance for Cliff Worts. And Necros, which is kind of a bummer that I didn't get to play it at all. Uh, two Chaos Chapels, this guy is really good against Denko. Denko hurts this deck. Two Imperial Iron Walls, uh, Infernoids, Necros, all that. Two Shadow Mirrors, Burning Abyss, Shadals. That's that. Uh, thanks guys. I hope you guys subscribe, like, comment. I'll catch you later.